Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Friday morning. Uh, nice and uh, chilly out there, but it's going to be a good day, I think. Preparing us for the weekend. So Matthew chapter 15, uh, verses 7. Jesus starts off very pleasantly this morning with uh, this declaration to these guys who he's been uh, having this discussion with. He says to them, you hypocrites, <laughs> rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you. So having uh, dealt with the issue as it relates to um, this sense of uh, living according to the traditions, Jesus says, your whole value system is just all over the place. And that's because you have got a value system that's built around your own understanding with regards to what you think is right. The Proverbs tells us, do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him, God, and he, God, will make your pathway straight. So God will bring clarity to you if you live according to, as it were, the perspectives of God. He says to them, but you're hypocrites. You present this to the people and you say they've got to climb this ladder and jump over this hurdle and achieve this task and then God will get to them. But you don't even live like it yourself. You kind of say this and you do that. And then you try and kind of gain a sense of self-elevation on the basis that you seem like you're doing it in the right way. He says your whole evaluation system is all over the place. You hypocrites. And a hypocrite is someone that says something, but he does something else. And I wonder how many of us each day just uh, present, as it were, ourselves to people. But inside of us, there's all kinds of raging fires going on, all kinds of contentions and issues that we're having to manage. But no one would know about it because we hide behind the mask of hypocrisy. He says, you hypocrites. And I don't think Jesus is trying to be unkind to them. He's just telling them straight. He says, rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you. So he's saying that the prophet Isaiah, way back, uh, declared, as it were, the reality of this type of generation coming into the earth and behaving in this kind of way. And he's saying, Isaiah prophesied about you. Rightly did he say of you, you hypocrites. I wonder, do people want to be hypocrites? Is that something we want to live according to? How are we going to bring about change in the hypocrisies of our life? Because in one sense, we all say things and yet do something else. And that's not really the problem if we're prepared to, as it were, own up to the reality of the things that we say and the things that we do. God knows us. There's no deceiving God. You can never deceive God. He knows every hair on our head. He knows every intimate thought of our heart. He knows every thought in our head. God knows you. God knows me. So we've got, there's no deceiving God. Therefore, we have to find in God a sincerity of truth that relates to connecting with him. And that's how he wants our relationship with him to work, to be honest with him. Just recently, God said to me, why are you trying to win my heart when you pray to me? And I said, am I? He said, you're trying to win the heart of a king when Jesus has already won the heart of the king for you. Paul, speak straight to me. Ask me clearly. Ask me straight. Don't kerfuffle. Don't try and win me over and say, well, I've been a good boy and now can I have this? Just ask me straight. Ask me what you want from me. And he says, and if you ask believing, you will receive it. So we need to avoid hypocrisy. Have a great weekend. Be blessed. And I'll see you on a wonderful Monday morning. God bless you.